If you're a self-taught web developer, there's a good chance you've heard of Udemy.com. And if you've heard of Udemy.com, you've probably heard of the Web Developer Bootcamp by Cold Steel. Love it, hate it, or don't care about it at all? This course has helped kickstart thousands of web developer careers. There's an interesting little project inside this course. It's called Yelp Camp. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you four reasons why I think it's the greatest of all time. So if you're not familiar with this thing, the Web Developer Bootcamp is a video-based course on Udemy. It has well over 600,000 students and clocks in at a soul-sucking 63 hours of on-demand video. The idea is that this is the exact curriculum you'd get in a real-life coding bootcamp that costs 10 or 20 grand or even more. The only difference is with this Udemy course, you're alone and desperate while you're debugging your drum machine app, and there isn't a communal pantry filled with vegan cupcakes and LaCroix Pomplamoose fizzy water. But the curriculum? The curriculum is the same. Most people I know who buy this course do not finish it, myself included. I got about 60% done before I hopped onto other courses. I've met exactly one person over the years who's cranked this thing out. It's intense. It's time consuming. And let's face it, even with cute cat pics and dad jokes, some of this stuff can be really dry and demotivating. Now, mind you, there are other bootcamp courses on this site for 10 bucks. Some of them are very good, but this is the original. It recently got updated. For example, there's ES6 now, there's no more jQuery. So it's had a bit of a renaissance. As mentioned, the capstone project in this course is called Yelp Camp. You start working on it about halfway through the course. Before that, you're learning HTML, CSS, lots of CSS, JavaScript basics, even some OOP with JavaScript. You get some terminal practice, you get introduced to Node and NPM. You'll also build some servers with Express, start exploring MongoDB, and then the Yelp Camp bomb drops. This right here, IMHO, is reason number one why this is the greatest web development project of all time. The buildup is excruciatingly methodical. You're spending a few weeks or even a couple of months learning about web development, learning the basics of programming before you even hear the whispers of this project. You're also building some smaller stuff, these smaller projects, so developers are already getting a taste of the build process before they start with Yelp Camp. And by the time developers get to it, it's not this, oh my God, moment where you have no idea what's happening. You've already had hundreds of hours of practice. There are lots of videos here that you'll probably watch a few times so by the time you hit this project, you've gone through weeks or months of training, and rather than a complete shock, this project is largely a natural progression from the stuff you've learned and built previously in the course. Reason number two I think Yelp Camp is the best is that at the end of the day, this is just a CRUD app. Now CRUD isn't referring to crap, it's an acronym for Create, Read, Update, Delete. And those are the four basic functions for manipulating data in a database. The idea of this app is not really mind blowing, but at the same time, it is a novel idea. You're building a full stack, fully functional web application where people can submit campgrounds and users can review them. And I know with these courses, one of the big challenges is bringing some cool projects to the table. Nobody wants to learn how to create to-do apps for four months of their life, so there's a temptation a lot of times to get ridiculous with it. Like in this course, you're gonna build an alien abduction zapper that also makes toast. Yeah! This project is not like that. It's a plain old CRUD app, but it's also interesting and relatable because we're all familiar with review sites. We're all familiar with logging in to leave a review, but then you're challenged to actually build it with all this functionality that's expected in a real world version of this project. It's also expected to look good. So you're spending time on the front end of it too. Reason number three I think this project is the GOAT is because of the community support. With numbers like these, I mean over 600,000 students enrolled and counting, there's somebody out there right at this moment with the same issues you're having with this project. There's an official Discord, there's a Facebook group by popular demand. I even started a channel on my own Discord server for the course. There are GitHub repos where you can check out how other people went about building the project. Even developers who aren't familiar with this course or this project are oftentimes able to help you and keep you motivated. <laughs> Finally, reason number four, I think Yelp Camp just might be the greatest web development project of all time. It's easily customizable. And this is where things really start getting interesting. This whole Yelp Camp thing, the idea of a campground review site, it's just a skin. You can do any theme. You can review dogs, you can review shoes, you can review music, and then you can switch out technologies too. For example, I think MongoDB is one of the most overhyped technologies in recent memory, at least when it comes to web developer courses, but you can dump it and slap on MySQL or PostgreSQL or MariaDB or what the heck ever. I mean, you're not really slapping it on, but you know what I mean. Be gentle. You don't want to break the column. 
problems. But in the context of picking up developer skills, in the context of developing these problem solving skills, going out on your own to customize any project is where so much real learning comes in. The exploration, the curiosity, the questioning, the experimentation, the more you get away from these videos, the better, because anytime you're watching a video, you're being fed somebody else's problem solving process. Now, this isn't always a bad thing. You've got to start somewhere, but it is important to put whatever video it is on pause and venture into the unknown. After all, the worst you can do is break something, and that's usually fixable when you're using version control. But when you pause a video and say, wait, what happens if I try using a new JavaScript thing I learned today? What happens if I bust out some OOP and start working with inheritance and constructor functions? That's when you're making progress, and that's when you're one step closer to becoming an employable developer. If you haven't yet, start taking control of these projects and make them your own. By the way, if you're having trouble customizing your portfolio projects, they're looking a little plain, a little boring, check out my course, Portfolio Surgery on RealToughCanny.io. I show you five killer methods for completely transforming your portfolio. People are loving this course. They're also loving the book version too. Check it out in the description box. <laughs> but back to Yelp Camp, you don't have to take this course to build this project. The code is slathered all over GitHub, for example, if you want to take a crack at it. An important disclaimer, even though I've been detailing the virtues of Yelp Camp in this video, this project is not going to automatically make you a job ready developer. No course can do that. Not a single project can do that, but I'm just saying it's a good project. Cred apps really get to the heart of software development. Plus they're fun to design and build. They're fun to customize. And when something is fun, it just makes it so much easier to feel motivated when it comes to learning web development. What do you all think? Is Yelp Camp the greatest web development project of all time? Or am I inhaling too many node fumes? Let me know in the comments below. As always, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.